Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and today I am filming my 2023 planner light up. So this is probably my most anticipated video of the year, both to film for you guys and to post here on YouTube and to watch on YouTube. I have been stalking all of the 2023 planner lineup videos that are already out and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about mine. So this video is going to be a pretty high level overview of the planners I'm using. I'm just going to sort of explain what the gist of all of these planners are. And then I plan on making separate videos um, with like an initial setup and a flip and a more detailed explanation of how I'm using pretty much like all the pages in the planner specifically rather than a high level video like this. So without further ado, let's hop in. So the first planner I'm going to talk about is my Hobonichi Weeks. So this is a regular size Hobonichi Weeks and the Liberty Fabrics Pepper cover, and it is also the Japanese version. And basically this planner is going to be pretty much my everyday um, weekly planner, and it's also going to house any long-term collections and or trackers that I want to use throughout the year. So. Full disclaimer, I have actually been using this specific weeks since November. I kind of tore out all the pages from November in my 2022 weeks and put them in here and have been using it since the beginning of November. But basically, so here's the current week. So the reason that the weeks is so functional to me is when I'm in the week, this layout works so well. Having the horizontal weekly on the left hand side, that's just very clean and just has only the information that I really want to know. And then having the right hand side be a running Alistair style task list is the most functional for me while we are in the week. So that's why I really, really like this planner. Also, it's very small. It doesn't take up a lot of room on my desk. I can have it open at all times and it's not going to cause any sort of clutter or space issue on my desk. But one thing that is of note on this planner is that I do not pre-plan anything. So as I flip forward to these future weeks, there's nothing there. And if I flip forward into any of the future monthly spreads, there's nothing there. And that's because this planner, while functional for me, while I'm using it in the current week, it is not functional for me in terms of pre-planning or scheduling out appointments in advance. I don't like this style of weekly. I like this to be very clean since it's a very small and confined space for each day of the week. So if I were putting everything in here that could possibly change, it'd be very cluttered. I would miss things. Things would be out of chronological order, which would really throw me off. So I don't pre-plan anything in this planner. I set up the monthlies pretty much a couple days before the month starts. And I set up all of these weekly spreads, um, usually the weekend before. So things are sort of, you know, solidified. Things might still change, but there's l less of a chance that things are going to change as you come closer and closer to those plans actually happening. So this is my everyday planner, but it leads me into my next planner in my lineup, which is the Sterling Inc. B6 Common Planner, which is going to be my pre-planner slash commonplace notebook. So <laughs> funny story about this planner. I didn't want to buy it originally, I saw it, I saw how beautiful it was, but I was like, Nicole, you don't need that planner. And I made it all the way through the pre-order process, didn't order it, didn't pre-order it, thought I was in the clear. I told myself I wasn't gonna buy it. I told other people I wasn't gonna buy it. Uh, but then people started getting theirs. I watched a lot of videos about it. I was like, oh my God, that's so pretty. And then I was really sick and she had an overstock sale and I, I bought it. So this is the B6 um, Common Planner. I got the half year edition and I love it. It's so pretty, it's so cute and small. I just, I fell in love with it and I knew I had to rearrange my lineup to figure out how to get it in here. And I thought it would be perfect as a pre-planner because of the vertical weekly. So, Vertical weeklies work really well for me in terms of pre-planning because if you're scheduling something right in an appointed time slot on an hourly timetable, there's no chance that you're gonna over schedule it because something is written in the time as opposed to a horizontal weekly like the weeks where you know things aren't set out in a time. So if you're not paying attention closely enough or if things are in the wrong order and you're just glancing at it, you know, you can make a mistake. So basically how I plan on using this planner is 
by just filling it in as things come up. So as I schedule appointments, I write them in no matter if I think that they're going to change or if they're not going to change. And this is just a place for me to really collect all my thoughts. And I can use this as a guide to set up my weeks when the time comes. So I already started setting it up with some pet tapes because I have no self-control and I'm just, I don't know, it's just so pretty. And I feel like this book, while it is so pretty, also just has that pre-planner vibe to me, like scribbling is like the vibe for this planner. I don't even know if that makes sense to anybody but me, but yeah. So pre-planning in the weekly and monthly sections. And then since this planner has basically a day per page undated in the back, I'm going to use it. I think how Catherine, who's the owner of Sterling Inc, kind of intended this planner to be, which is as a commonplace book. And basically this is going to house anything that I feel like would regularly go on a sticky note or a random notepad on my desk. I just want a place where I can put it all and have everything in one place and not have a bunch of paper all over my desk. So that's the B6 Common Planner. And the last planner in my lineup for this year is the A5 Take a Note Weekly Planner. And I have been enamored by this planner since I first saw it earlier in the year, but I was unable to get my hands on it because it was sold out at the time and they don't restock this planner. So you kind of have to grab it when you see it and when it's in stock originally. So I picked it up even though I wasn't positive I wanted to use it because I was journaling in a Hobonichi cousin at the time. I wasn't sure I wanted to stray away from that in the new year. But then I got my hands on it. I opened it. It's so beautiful. If you're unfamiliar with the A5 Take a Note, it's basically a weekly planner and it's two days per page. Okay, this is a horrible place to open up because it's one of those like that doesn't open completely. So here's how the weekly is set up. So you have sort of a weekly overview over here. You have two days per page and then it just repeats. And I plan on creative journaling in here and I am so excited. I think if you take out all of my like rambliness in my Hobonichi cousin, that isn't necessarily the part that I want to look back on. I think this is going to be enough space and I'm just so excited to hop into this. I have so many plans for it, which you can see by the sticky notes that I have in here. Once again, I'm not gonna get into too much specifics on how I'm going to use it, but just know I am very excited. And if you're interested in any of the details, make sure to check out the videos that I put out later in the month. Um, this will probably be the first one just because I am so excited and I really just wanna hop in and set it up now. But yeah, that is a high level overview of my system this year. So hopefully that was very short and sweet, just gives you a little bit of an idea. And then later in the month in these later videos, we can get into all of the setup goodness with all of the initial flips and explanations. And I am just so excited. I think this is the most excited I've been about a lineup in a while. And I don't know if that's just the fact that I'm using so many new planners versus planners I've used before, but I just, I can't wait. It's so soon. And I am so excited to be on here sharing them with you guys. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Let me know if we're using any of the same planners for any of the same reasons, or if we're not, let me know what you're using so I can get some maybe ideas for next year or get some inspiration from your guys' lineup. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe if you so desire, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.